Hello everyone, welcome to Haley Montero. This is your singles a weekly love reading for Aquarius. How are you guys, Aquarius? Hope you're all well. So let's see what's going on with you. Whoops, wrong deck. I'm going to pull out three overall energy cards regarding new love. Oh, there we go. Ooh, a little flirt energy. Nice, extended that lighthearted energy. Someone's going to flirt with you. I see it's safe for you to love. <laughs> nice. And we have express your love and religious factors. Make sure you get on the same page with this person. Okay, to make sure it's safe. That's a card of having faith. You may have some things that are different. You may not be on the same page with everything. But I actually feel go ahead and make this romantic gesture. Someone's going to flirt with you. It's going to start out with some lighthearted energy. Open your heart, give and receive the highest energy of all. Ooh, someone's going to express their feelings to you here. It may take them a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you got a, somebody here. It could be a reconciliation, but it's also a, a judgment and a decision. It's a call. So you may actually get a phone call. If you've given out your phone number to somebody, uh, they may be reaching out. Okay, But it's also an energy of letting go of something, healing, releasing anything that you need to. Uh, so that you can be ready for this new person, okay? It's also about the way you conduct yourself, your belief, behavior, okay? Ooh, there we go. Yeah, I feel like you have, somebody's heading in your direction. Some of you have walked away from something, yeah. You're definitely ready for something new. I like that, yeah. You're off on an adventure, feeling really positive, uh, someone's coming towards you. Hey, someone's going to try to get your attention by flirting. Um, watch for that. You might miss it. <laughs> okay. You might actually miss it. Interesting. Yeah. Because I sometimes see that. Oh, yeah. You got a new person, new energy. Beautiful. Yeah. You're letting go. You've healed from something. You're ready for something new. Yeah. Things are about to go in your favor. Old cycle is ending and the new cycle is beginning. Uh, beautiful. Yeah. You have an opportunity. Wow. This is somebody emotional. Oh, yeah. Someone different than your usual type. Yay. <laughs> they could be just your type. <laughs> it's possible. Yeah, it's possible. But I actually feel a lot of times this card tells me it speaks to me. Pull back. This person is a little different than your usual type, but there's something about them that's drawn. There's this it's, it, where, where this person sees you as different, but there's something different about you and they like it. So it is time for something different. The way someone conducts themselves, the way they behave. Okay. Uh, interesting energy. It's somebody who's ready for something different. Uh, and I feel, oh, yeah, you you got something really positive. Somebody's going to offer you something here. And uh, <laughs> Aquarius, uh, they could have Libra in their chart where they're making a decision here too. Uh, whoops. I don't know which card's which here. Let me just pull these over. Then that one extra card comes out. Aquarius, who's interested in you? Oops, there we go. So yeah, someone's fantasizing about you. Some of you might even have a few options here. So look at the possibilities. I see a little fantasizing, someone making a decision. Oh yeah, this is something maybe that you're waiting for. Have you been waiting for someone to get a hold of you, to call you? Uh, for some of you, I do feel the ship has sailed if someone wants a reconciliation because I see new. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of feel that some of you may want a reconciliation. It all depends what happens. Sometimes you just don't see eye to eye or not on the same page with someone, you know, but I do feel here regardless, it's very positive. Uh, and I see here, uh, you're kind of looking out there. Some of you have options. Okay, uh, you're kind of looking out there, uh, maybe looking at some of your options. But I'm going to tell you, if somebody is seeing you that way, you're getting an offer, okay? Yeah, someone's going to try to get your attention here. I think you're letting go of someone and walking away from someone who's just coming in looking for attention. Like, is you're freeing yourself from something. And I feel like you've got this lighthearted energy, the sense of being free. I'll tell you, when you meet that right person, that energy of freedom actually comes in when you meet that right person. And that's what I feel is about to happen here. Yeah, you, oh yeah, someone's making a decision to do with commitment and marriage. Some of you have released somebody, okay? I, I do see it, setting yourself free. Uh, but I feel some of you got a, um, 
a decision to make to do with marriage and commitment. And I think someone sees you uh, in that energy. Oh, yeah, this is someone seeing clearly. They want to start something. It's safe for you to love, to open your heart. I feel there's some really positive energy here. Yeah, and you've been sitting at a crossroads. You have a choice, okay? Some of you might have a choice between a couple people, but this is that crossroads in life. It's a choice to either walk away or to move forward uh, towards something more successful. So I do see success and victory here. Yeah, some of you have been kind of holding on to something, but you're freeing yourself from any stuck energy. Beautiful. Any baggage you're holding on to, you're going to release. Okay, you're no longer stuck. So yeah, look at that energy. Someone's coming in just right. So justice is in your favor. Wheel of Fortune's in your favor. Uh, beautiful energy. Tell me more about this Wheel of Fortune. Oops, there we go. Yeah, a little indecision though, which way to go. <laughs> and so that's Aquarius, this is your energy. I'm seeing strong Libra. Someone here is a Libra. And I feel this person's coming towards you just right. Uh, you may have a, you might have to decide between two, who's right for you, who's not right for you. Okay, so look at the details. If there's anything you need to let go of, now's the time to do so. Okay, yeah, someone sees you as a keeper, though. I can tell you that right now. Uh, I do see indecision, probably for both people, but it's about not seeing. Okay, this is about not seeing. So make sure you see. Okay, keep your eyes wide open. Take off the rose-colored glasses, all that stuff. There's the offer. You might be a little indecisive about this offer. Oh, yeah, you may have a couple offers. I see two offers, two Ace of Pentacles. One has that emotional energy behind it. So uh, It's a beautiful emotional new opportunity, opportunity for a fresh new start. Feel you're a little indecisive, Aquarius, or you have a Libra who is a little indecisive about expressing themselves. Mm -hmm. it's okay it's short term it's a two so let's see what this whoops yeah so there is a healing a clearing clearing things out leaving negativity out of a situation energy of taking a little break okay sleeping on it clear out the negativity because you're going to extend this light-hearted energy okay yeah this is telling you to let go these are the thoughts that pin you down so if you've been in your head and indecisive i feel like you're going to make a decision or someone around you is ace of pentacles why is this here yeah you got something cooking here beautiful new energy high vibrational energy king of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn someone's making you an offer stable reliable practical this person's making a decision Ooh. Yeah, they're fantasizing about you. This is someone who's fantasizing about living with you, being with you. Mm -hmm. I do think they're a little bit, they, they are a little concerned. They're kind of holding back. They're trying to get out of their head. I feel they were indecisive. Maybe they feel like you have other options or think maybe they should have kept their options open. But I really feel it's a decision uh, this person's about to make. Yeah, this is uh, something you've been waiting for here, I feel. Some of you got a little fire in your chart here. Little Aries, Leo, or Sag. Seven of, oops, there we go. Oh, yeah, it's a choice in love. Somebody's making a choice in love. They're making a decision to do with love. Oh, my God. Someone's coming to express themselves. Someone's about to open up emotionally here, express their feelings and emotions. Mm. whatever this person was indecisive about this back and forth and on and off yeah this if you've been seeing somebody on and off i think they're about ready to commit and i do see that emotional backup okay beautiful energy if you have two people coming and you're indecisive you will make a decision about who's right for you and who's not you definitely want the higher vibrational the happy person the positive person the person who you feel safe and the most comfortable with someone feels comfortable with you um, so yeah, I see you're walking away from one person, uh, and somebody is coming towards you. Uh, someone's looking for you, that soulmate connection. Yeah, they're ready to take a leap of faith. Someone may have a little Aries, a little Gemini energy, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, there's a little fire here. Someone's taking a leap of faith. Uh, this is someone who doesn't want you to get away. Uh, they are, and I do feel it's someone who's likely kept you waiting for a bit. Now they're just going for it because they don't want you to go off in another direction. They're coming in to express their feelings. 
Tell me about flirt. Oh, yeah. See, it's a decision to let go. Someone is going to be a little more flirty. And this is also that playful, friendly, high vibrational energy. Very positive. Uh, open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all. This person's high vibrational. This is really good. You're going to be attracted to this person. I love it. Yeah, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person's... Now, up in their head, doing a lot of thinking. They're strategizing. This person's very wise, okay? Uh, so they're making this decision. This is someone who sees you as just right, but they want to make just the right decision, okay? Yeah, they. it could be them who needs to let go of something. Uh, but I feel really it's about stuck. Somebody's in protective mode. Um, but I do feel like someone knows if they keep holding back, they're not going to have success. So they need to express their feelings, so... Yeah, because I do feel there's an energy where you become indecisive because uh, you've started something with this person and you're ready for them to express their feelings and you're kind of waiting for them to express their feelings. So this really gets going and uh, you're, I, this person knows they're keeping you waiting. They know you're waiting. They know that what, what they need to do. They're wise. Uh, they have their own little strategy. <laughs> Tell me about this. This is a big deal to this person. Yeah, two people reciprocating. Very nice. Uh, so you're going to be reciprocating this back and forth. Uh, it's about two people getting on the same page, two people sharing their feelings, emotions, being generous with each other. Nice energy. King and Queen of Pentacles, you both got a little fire, a lot of passion. You're very attracted to each other. Very high vibrational, high energy relationship. Yeah, you are on the same page. You have things in common. Uh, feel the way you conduct yourselves, your lives, your energy levels. You're, you're both creative. It's like you've got this beautiful energy. Uh, someone here has got a little airy. Someone's got a little sad. It's interesting. It just could be the energy that uh, two people are coming in. But you're going to reciprocate. You have things in common. You're going to get on the same page. Uh, and this is that faith in each other. Uh, I think this is going to be, this person's going to commit. Some of you are going to get a commitment out of this person. It all depends where you're at. Don't expect it to happen immediately if you just met someone. Okay. But if you do go through those motions where you're waiting for this person to commit. Okay. Everything's gotten started. Things are out in the open. You're eager. It's high vibrational. There's a lot of passion here. And you're waiting for this person to express themselves. They want to do this just right too. They want to express themselves just right. Um I do think this person is taking that risk, that leap of faith. Uh, they also know if they don't, you will stop talking to them. You will likely move on. And that's what they know. They've kept you waiting long enough. Oh, yeah. It's their strategy. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. I don't see anything here. I think this person's just sort of pulling back, looking at this. You are different than the usual type. I feel they're going to try something different here. Like they're strategizing a different way of expressing themselves. Um, they're, it, it's full of passion and fire. Uh, very creative way they're going to express themselves. It doesn't mean they're not going to communicate and say, uh, you know, I love you or I want to keep seeing you or whatever the situation is. It has to do with that commitment, but they want to do it just right. Um, this person's quite clever. Oh, yeah, they're taking a little pause. They're looking at different ways to go about this, different perspectives, shining a little light, you see. Yeah, they're taking that little moment to uh, try something different. Oh, yeah, they're whew, passionate fire. They're going to be a little more creative. Oh, my gosh, this person, this is going to be big, okay? Uh, for those of you who are lucky enough with this person, they are their strategy is positive to do things just right. Oh, yeah, to express themselves. To re and this is going to really kick off this relationship. Now, it could be the I love you, okay? Or it could be um, that they may start by uh, buying you little gifts, buying you things, making choices, being quite particular about what they choose to give you to show you that they love you before they actually say the words, Okay. Because, yeah, and I do feel this person's headed towards you. I do think they need to get you to know you a little bit more before they really open up. But they're really, I feel, they want you to reciprocate. Like, whatever they say, they want, whatever they give, they want back. Both of you. See? 
you're both focused on work, career, creative pursuits. You're very much the same. Uh, in fact, two of you could be married to your jobs, but I see the two of you committing uh, by the end of this. So this is really nice. I'm not going to drag this out. It's going to go in circles. So they're going to use some very creative, passionate way. Um, they're going to do something different. They're looking at different ways to go about this. Oh, this is special. Tell me about this. Whoops. This is the card underneath. These cards are so slippery. Oh, this is the one that's coming out. So what is it? Yeah, take a breather. So this person's kind of pulling back a little, looking at the details, taking a little a moment. Nothing major, okay? Last quarter moon in Cancer. Somebody made a little uh, Cancer moon. So they do have that emotional energy. See, there is this emotion. This is an opportunity. Uh, it's a beautiful energy. So if you meet this person and then you're kind of waiting for this to... You know, for this person to share their feelings, do not try to rush this person. Uh, get out of your head. Don't worry about it. It's going to go in your favor. They want this to go in their favor as well. So they're going to do this exactly how they feel they need to. And that's just right with that cr little bit of creative creativity, uh, something different, you know. Yeah, they're looking at things from a different perspective, seeing things different. <laughs> they are rather meticulous and quite picky. I do feel this person may be buying you a gift, giving you something to show that they love you first, okay, to share those feelings. Yeah, they're going to give, this person's going to be quite generous. Uh, I think you're going to be doing some of this possibly back and forth, but I do feel eventually this person's going to express their love. So we have the first quarter moon in Libra, keep your heart open. Yeah, it's about keeping your heart open. This person's going to open up. Um, that's what I'm feeling. You want them to, and you're becoming indecisive. Like it, I don't know if this has been an on and off kind of thing, or, uh, but it is going to go in your favor. Reveal what needs to be seen. That's the energy. Reveal what needs to be seen. So this person's making a decision. They know they need to get out of their head. Uh, they need to hurry up. I can see that hurry up because you're waiting. Uh, they also see you as that queen of wands or king of wands where you will not wait forever. You'll just go see you later, talk to the hand. Uh, they're very well aware of that energy. <laughs> this is their thoughts. So let's see about this um, new beginning. Oh, yeah, they're going for it. Yeah, they're going to think this through. See, they're thinking it through. I see a little Gemini for some of you. They're thinking it through. They're making this decision, being very wise about their feelings, their emotions. They're making some kind of, I think they're going to buy you something. If you have been seeing this person for a while, you actually could get engaged or talk about it. Okay. Uh, but I do see this expressing the love, uh, this beautiful romantic gesture that this person's going to give you. Wow. They're going to think about this. They're thinking this through. They want to do it just right. Very stable. They're not going to spare any real expense either. I don't think money is the issue. Uh, believe in your good luck. Yeah, see, this is a first quarter moon in Sag. They may have a little Sag in their chart. Uh, this is believing in their good luck. You're, you've got some good luck here. Uh, but this person is really, I feel, um, finds you very attractive. Uh, I feel they, um, I don't know if you've been flirting with them, but... <laughs> Yeah, there's definitely that energy. There's a physical attraction here. They're fantasizing about this physical connection. Uh, they know they need to show you their feelings first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this person. Uh, they're, they're smart, yeah. just want to look at that uh, flirt energy, this decision to be more flirty. I think they're going to, the first, if this is someone new, okay, they're trying to go about things the right way. So uh, be careful how you judge this person because they're really going to try here. And uh, their decision is to start flirting a little bit more. Okay. Well, you might not even see this. Take off the glasses. See, they're going to flirt with you. And you might, I got to tell you, I feel like you're not going to get it. I don't know. I wonder if they're overthinking it. But yeah, that's what it's telling me. So Tell me about this judgment. This is funny. Yeah, this is that decision yourself there. Aquarius. 
Yeah, be careful how you judge this person, how they flirt. They may do it different than you. They may have a different way of going about it. Well, you're different than their usual type, so uh, they have to do something different. And I feel, you know, there is that energy of that little indecision. Yeah, don't get all up in your head. Don't overthink it. Yeah, see, there's that offer, that emotional offer. This is an opportunity. You're going to miss this opportunity. Don't be too judgmental of this person. Don't be too picky. Uh, about how they express themselves. The fact is they're going to do it. Uh, and they are trying to do it in creative ways, okay? So I think they just do things different than you do. It has to do with that, um, the way they conduct themselves, the way they behave, the way they're going to come and show you this energy. This uh, It's about keeping the faith, okay? And it's about getting on the same page. Like there may be something that's that they do that's a little different but it's really all about the fact that they're going to do it there's love here uh, they're making this decision so let your fears dissolve okay clear out that negative energy i kind of feel like it's you you need to get out of your head a little but that's typical for you aquarius this person's grounded practical financially stable they're offering you something solid Okay, they're going to buy something. They're making a decision. They'd be looking at a lot of things. I do feel they're quite meticulous and quite picky themselves. Uh, but I do see something earthy. Okay, this is interesting, but it has an emotional kind of energy to it. So it's probably going to be something with a little, something sentimental that expresses love. Oh boy, this could take this person a while. I think they're going to take their time. Um, let me grab some charms and see if that. Uh, helps this situation and what did I do with the blooming charms again I move them when I get up I move them because I seem to knock them over all right Aquarius yeah some of you are letting go of a Libra too you're releasing them but uh, you do have this other person coming in I feel they could have Libra in their chart or Gemini but I do feel Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy definitely a lot of earth so We have, oh, we have two hearts. We have another heart. We have the word love. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Uh, we have an anchor, an airplane, and a tower. You're going to get some kind of a surprise. It's something romantic. When I see that tower, the Eiffel Tower, that's, that speaks to me of romance, you know, Paris romance. Uh, this is beautiful. This is going to be romantic. Uh, I like the anchor and I like the plane. So this person may be coming to see you. Um, maybe actually coming from Paris or going to, uh, for some of you maybe. But I actually feel it's going to be a surprise. And I feel it's romantic. It's to show their love. So I like this. Two people are going to come together. Uh, so they're going to be the first one to share that. They're going to be the one to do it. Uh, and then you're both going to be reciprocating that is what I feel. Uh, so very interesting. I like it. I do see travel. This could be communication as well. The airplane. Okay. The flying. It's flying high. It's a sense of freedom. So this person's taking a, a little bit of a chance here. Uh, but I think this person, I don't think they're unsure of their feelings at all. I think they're very clear. Uh, I think the only, I think you're the one that's indecisive because I feel as though uh, you want this person to come in right. I feel like they're more in decision about how to express it, how to um, put it out there. So we have an N and an L, or pardon me, a Z, a Z, and an L. And we have, oh, there's a kiss. Oh, there's some romance here. I love the romantic energy. Uh, I see an F, a U, and a P. Interesting. Yeah, if you are leaving someone behind, okay, cutting someone out, making a decision to release somebody because you have a choice, uh, you're going to go for this person with the earth energy, but they're also very fiery, very passionate. Uh, there's that energy of air and fire, two people who build each other up. There's definitely a physical attraction. Uh, that's generally a lot of chemistry there too. Uh, see, there's the chemistry, two people coming together. You're both a little different, but yet very much the same. They got fire in their chart, or they just have that kind of energy. Beautiful, Aquarius. All right, give it a chance to play out. It's all food for thought. Take your time. Bye for now.